Every fall, there's a story about how someone takes home the prize for growing the biggest pumpkin or carving the most creative one. Well, a Calgary man has combined his love of giant gourds with his artistic ambition. And as Gil Tucker explains, he's not waiting for Halloween to show off his masterpieces. Just sort of, you know, you come around here, the first time we saw it, we thought, ah! It comes with the territory when you've got this up on your roof. When I first moved here, somebody called the fisheries and said, there's a bear in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Jordan Straker is proud to share his handiwork with the neighborhood. It's a wood carving. Uh, that's Bruce the bear. Guarding his den, always ready to pounce. I'm afraid that somebody's going to come by and take a pot shot at him. Inside, more of Jordan's artistry on display. This one's called basket case. Saddles, an English one and a Western one. This is Don't Mess With the Barmaid. All of them carved gourds, a real surprise for some. They all say, how did you stretch the leather over that gourd? They just can't grasp the concept that I carve it all to look that way. A talent that's earned him a catchy nickname. The gourd father. His spring shipment of raw materials just arrived from a gourd farm in California. I just say send me 20. Until he lays eyes on them, he has no idea what he'll do with them. Basically, I sit here and say talk to me <laughs> and hope they talk back. The new batch taking shape out in his workshop. It's going to be a fishing vest. This is the collar. This is the buckle. And I'm going to have a can of beer sitting out of the pocket there. After two decades of carving wood, this sudden change a year and a half ago. How I came up with a gourd, I'll never know. I've never even heard of a gourd. Somehow I ended up with a gourd and I have not done a major wood piece since. Working hard to get a batch ready for his big show of the year. Just a few weeks till he opens his booth at the Stampede. I have to work 14 hours a day. I can't wait to get into this one. This baby is so huge and it's so beautifully shaped. Gil Tucker, Global News.